Everton target Calvin Phillips will apparently be allowed to leave Manchester City on loan this summer. There have been some dispute apparently as to whether City would want a permanent deal for Phillips, but given that there hasn't been any takers so far uh, due to probably the size of his contract, um, they have decided that they are willing to allow him to leave on loan. Ipswich Town monitoring the situation as well as Wolves and Everton. I think if you're a betting man, Everton seems to be the most likely destination for Phillips. The Blues were interested in him last summer and also in January before he went off to West Ham for a, uh, a loan from January till the end of the season. But Everton have been apparently in the race for him all summer. And this, I'll be honest, this is one where you say it wouldn't surprise me if he does end up at Goodison Park on loan for the season. We'll have to wait and see. He's certainly lost his way since he left Leeds United for Manchester City. Sean Dyche, a big admirer, also loves Premier League experience. And Calvin Phillips has got that with Leeds and a little touch with City as well. So Phillips will be allowed to lead the Etihad on loan this season. Dominic Calvert-Lewin has said he is looking forward to the new start of the season. Calvert-Lewin scored in Everton's 1-1 draw with Roma at Goodison Park at the weekend. Said he's feeling fit and ready to go. Said pre-season has flown by. He feels strong and ready and he's looking forward to feeling that atmosphere, a rocking Goodison Park. The Toffees kick off their Premier League campaign this Saturday against Brighton and Hove Albion at Goodison, a three o'clock kickoff. Um, it has come around quick. We'd have liked more players in, I'm sure. But obviously, if Dominic Calvert-Lewin uh, continues his goal scoring form, then that is good. I think most Evertonians just want some sort of resolution with Calvert Lewin. They want to know that he's staying, basically, sign a new contract. Um, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that one. Doesn't seem to be anything imminent, either him leaving or him staying at the minute, but he is fit, he is playing. He's Sean Dyche's preferred centre forward. It's good to see him getting two goals in his last two games, and hopefully he will continue that run, like I say, when we face the Seagulls at Goodison Park on Saturday. Uh, back to a couple of more transfer links before we finish. Everton's um, have targets at Almera winger Lardy Ramzani. Spoke about this the other day. Stuff coming out of Spain over the weekend says the player is open to a move to Goodison Park. Park. The fee has been mentioned of around £6 million to get the former Manchester United Academy player uh, out of Spain and to Goodison Park. He scored four goals in 31 appearances last season as Almeida were relegated from La Liga. He can play anywhere across the front three. Um, I suppose he's a cheaper alternative to Wilfred Nonto. Everton, very interested in Nonto. Again, stories coming out of Yorkshire over the weekend that Leeds United have told Everton it's £25 million. If you offer the £25 million, we can have Wilfred Nonto. Right now, it doesn't seem like Everton are able to do that. And a cheaper alternative is Ramazani. Uh, he's 24 years of age, I think. So, good age as well. And... Um, We'll see if anything comes of that. And finally, staying with Spain, Everton today have been linked with a move for Barcelona striker Vitor Roque. He is 19 years of age. Uh, 25 million is the fee that um, Marker have reported over the weekend for him. He is a direct attack and forward. Can again can play anywhere across the front three. Uh, he scored 21 goals in 45 appearances for our Atletico Paranese in Brazil before Barcelona took him to Camp Nou. He's not been able to get enough minutes uh, playing for Barcelona. And he's another one who is reportedly open to come into the Premier League. Um, having that little bit of pace about him means that uh, he is a target for Everton, apparently. So, again, another one. A young 19, would Sean Dykes really want that? Who knows, the club might think, um, might be looking at it slightly differently, thinking he's a player who, if we can get in, um, would then, you know, and did well, we would then make money on. He's an asset as we move forward, of course. Don't know how this would look, whether this would be a loan to a, you know, with an obligation. It is reported Barcelona need a sale. Could this be something like happened with Beto, where there's nothing up front and then it's it's backloaded on the rest of the contract? Is it pure fantasy? Who knows? Everton are in the, on the lookout to strengthen in the squad. That is for sure. And again, a forward player is on Sean Dyche's wish list. So maybe, maybe not. We'll have to wait and see whether this one develops as well. That is it for the News Daily. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. See you later.